Welcome. In this video, I'm going to talk about setting up a guest Wi-Fi network on an Ingenious SkyKey network controller. And I've made a couple other videos on this. I'll put a link in the description of that playlist, so check those out. And the equipment here was provided by Ingenious, but they're not paying me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you're interested in the Ingenious hardware, I'll put a link in the description to what I'm using on Amazon. If you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in the previous video in this series, I set up a Wi-Fi network called Mall Wi-Fi at the fictional Rick Makes Mall. So I'll click on that project. And let's assume we want to set up a guest Wi-Fi. So this would be like the mall Wi-Fi for mall use, but it uh, has a password on it. It's not available to everyone. So the first thing you need to do is go to Hotspot Service and go to Captive Portal. And then you want to hit Add. And then we'll give a profile name. So we'll call it Mall Guest Wi-Fi. And then the network connection mode, we have Bridged or NAT. I'm going to choose Bridged. For authentication type, we have Splash and Go, Easy Master Authentication, Radius Server, Third Party Authentication, and Social Login. So I'm going to choose Splash and Go, which is the simplest. So then we have external splash page URL and local splash page. So here we can upload a logo. Let me choose a logo. And then we can have a message. I'll say, welcome to Rick Makes Mall Free Wi-Fi. And then we can have terms of service at public port 80. And it says redirect behavior is redirect to URL that the user was trying to visit. We can have a session timeout, idle timeout, and then we can have walled garden. So this would allow them to get to certain things within your network. So say you had a website for your mall, you could allow them to get to that website um, prior to logging in. So I'll save changes here. And this is just creating the profile. This doesn't work yet. So what we need to do next is go to device management. We'll go to AP groups. We'll click edit on the AP group mall Wi-Fi that we created earlier. We'll scroll down here to WLAN settings and then SSID underscore two. And we'll set this up on just the 2.4 gigahertz. And we'll call the SSID mall free Wi-Fi. So we want to choose L2 isolation. This will keep the guest users from accessing our network. And we'll do disable on VLAN isolation. The captive portal will say enable, and then we'll choose our profile we created. Then we have traffic shaping, we'll enable that. And it says the scope is per SSID or per user. Let's do per SSID, and we'll send that to 10 megabits download and 10 megabits upload. And then it says enable radius accounting. We'll have disabled there. And then we have the NAS settings. We can leave those. MAC filtering, we'll leave those. Fast roaming, we'll leave as is. And security, we'll have none. So we'll hit save here. Then we'll go down here to apply. So the change has been applied. I'll go connect up to this guest network. Okay, so I've connected to it. Now it's going to say join mall free Wi-Fi. We have the splash page, we have the logo, we have the terms that come up, we'll say click to proceed. It says success and then we'll hit done. And now we can go on the internet here. And if we do speed test, let's try that, speedtest.net. See if the cap is working properly. Okay, so you see it's limiting our bandwidth. We're at 9.5 megabits. And now the upload, it's limiting that to 9.5, 9.6 megabits. So our limitations are there. And I set that per access point. You could set that per user also.
So if you had a 100 megabit network available for Wi-Fi guest access, you could limit, say, five megabits per person or something like that, so one person isn't monopolizing the whole thing. So we'll close that. So I'll switch over to a terminal here, and I'll ping the main router on my system, and that pings fine. Now I'll ping a NAS device I have, and that's not coming through. And the reason being is that I have that uh, L2 isolation on. So that's all for this video. I just wanted to show the basic setup. There's lots more options you can use, and I may cover those in future videos. If you have anything you want me to cover, uh, drop a note down below. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.